Hello people, welcome back to Beauty Jam. Today we are going to be doing monthly favourites. Now I have a confession to make. This is my monthly favourites. Now, um, the second from last week in May, I, f I believe, I think, I am going on holiday, okay? I'm going to Cape Verde. Well, it will have already happened, I'll have already been by the time this video is up. Um, so I'm going to Cape Verde and I'm going on holiday. Now, um, because this video comes out the following week, I won't have time to film, so I'm having to film this before I go, as you will clearly see from the skin. Um, which means that it is actually only the second week in May, so I feel a bit like a cheat by saying this is things I've been loving in May, even though it's only the second week, me filming this wise. So I want to say that from the beginning, like, I'm having to film this early because I have no choice, okay? Um, but for June monthly favourites, I might include some of the things that I've been loving in May as well for the rest of May. So I'm gonna, yeah. So, first thing I've been loving in this first two weeks of May is this Dove Summer Glow. Now the reason being is, um, this is supposed to be a moisturiser with a subtle, gradual self-tanner, right? Now, the tan aspect of it does work. I haven't been using it very often yet. I've only just started using it. And what I usually do is, before I go on holiday, I usually use a moisturiser to get my skin moisturised for the first couple of weeks before I go. So that when I do actually go, because moisturised skin tans a lot better than dry skin so I like to get my body prepared with by moisturising a lot now I've only been using this a week and obviously I haven't tanned yet but it is a gradual self tanner and they do kind of advertise this as more of a moisturiser than a self tan do you know what I mean so um yeah but it does work you do get a little bit of a glow uh but it's not it's not a fake tan that's what I'm trying to say but um, yeah, and you can clearly see by the lid that it does tan, um, but I have been loving that so far. It keeps my skin so moisturised. Sorry, I just opened that and a load of... it just kind of went, you know. Um, so it keeps me moisturised and it's preparing my body for the tanning that I'm gonna do. And yeah, so I've been loving that for the first two weeks, obviously. The second thing I've been loving in this May is chocolate. I'm sorry for the, the look of this, but um, it's chocolate, right? Now, obviously, you know that Easter's just gone. Um, and I love the fact that all the chocolate is... You just get an aisle of chocolate. Now, I've recently started going to the gym. I picked the wrong time to start going to the gym. But um, I recently started going to the gym, so I've had to kind of restrain myself. But on Sundays, I do let myself have a little treat. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been, I've been, I've been, what's the word? What's the word? Restraining. I've been restraining myself. And the first um, week I had his ears. This was a bunny, <laughs> unless you didn't guess. I had his ears the first week. Then last week I had his head and then Tonight, because tonight's Sunday, I will have his, like, to his arms there. And then for the last week, I shall have his butt slash feet, that, that bit. But I can't wait for that because the bottom, the bottom of these is always the best bit because the chocolate's a little bit thicker to keep it standing up. So I can't wait for that. But I have been restraining myself and I haven't just been gorging like I used to. I used to gorge on chocolate so much. Um, and I used to love when Easter used to come and things like that because the chocolate was all reduced and there was so much more to choose from. So, um, yeah. I have started noticing they're selling like eggs all year round now though, Cadbury and stuff. But yeah, I have been loving chocolate and I do let myself have a little treat on a Sunday and yeah. So that's that. Um, yeah. Because 30 gram of this is 161 calories. And I don't know how much this was. It was probably at the top, but I'm not about to search. But that's like 
you know, you have to be careful with chocolate because it is very fattening, especially when you are trying to go to the gym and exercise and blah, blah, blah. You have to be very careful. So I have been very careful with this and I feel happy. You know what? It might seem a bit, mm, I don't know, but it's difficult to explain. If you've ever been to the gym and tried to lose weight or if you've ever been to the gym and tried to strength train and you've had to really restrict your food intake or be careful about what you eat when you don't eat something you actually makes you feel good it does for me anyway at the time you might be like oh i wish i could eat that and i wish i could do this but after in hindsight you actually think you know what i'm really proud of myself for not gorging and giving in and blah 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 now i know i've had chocolate i'm not on a, a diet as such as that I can't eat anything except for this. I'm not that type of person. I can't work like that. But I just let myself have a little treat and that's what I would recommend anybody to do. Just let pick a day that is gonna be kind of your cheat day um, and just have a little treat. A cheat day does not mean that you get to gorge on everything that you didn't eat for the week, you know? It just means you can have a little treat. And that's what I like. So, mine's Sunday, if you didn't get. So, that's the second thing I've been loving. <sighs> the third thing I've been loving this month is nail polishes, just in general, especially these types of colours, these like, what colour would you call this? It's like a pastel, is it like a pastel? Yeah, I've been painting my nails a lot more, as you can clearly see from the chipped nail polish, but I've been loving these types of colours, these just natural, like beigey type colours, I've been loving them. And I think with holiday coming up as well, I always paint my nails for holiday. I don't know why. It's just a thing that I like to do. I like to put white nail polish on my toes. I always have white, white nail polish on my toes year round. Um, but I like doing the French manicure for holiday. So I've kind of been looking at my nail polishes and I've been like, hmm, let me paint my nails. So I've been painting them this color and this color and da da da. Um, at the moment, I'm currently rocking this colour. This colour on my nails. It's all chipped though, so don't look. But I'm currently rocking that colour. Um, so yeah, and I just realised how cool nail polish actually is. Like, it's paint for your nails that makes your nails look good. Isn't that so weird? I wonder who invented it. Like, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna put paint on my nails and leave it there. <laughs> you know? So yeah. I've been loving paint, painting my nails this month and I can't wait to do my French manicure for holiday. I love getting stressed out over French manicures. Yeah, I really do need a holiday after doing that. I should just go to a nail salon and have them do it, but it's like, oh, I'd rather, when, it, when you can do something yourself, I'd much rather do it myself than somebody else do it. So I can do it, but it just takes me a while. A bit like Crash Bandicoot, you know. So anyway. That's the third thing I've been loving this month. The, f the fourth and final thing I've been loving this month is hair removal cream. This might seem a bit weird, but hair removal cream for me lasts a week, right? So I can put this on, remove my hair, and then I will be hairless and smooth for a week, right? Um, see, whereas shaving only lasts about two days. Now, shaving, I do like every day to day, you know, like that's my go-to hair removal method, right? But when I'm going on holiday, it is not my go-to hair removal method because I would much prefer to have the cream and kind of be hairless for a week than having to take razors with me and shave every two days. Do you know what I mean? Especially when you are showing more of your body off. I'm not, like around the UK, I don't, I've always got leggings on. I mean, that might change when I'm a bit happier with my body, but at the moment, I don't show it off. So I don't have to worry about leg hair, right? But I, I shave anyway, just for myself. But when I'm on holiday, it's bikinis, shorts, skirts, it's just dress, you know, it's just, it's leg galore, right? So I always use this. And Veet is the one I always go for. I have used Nair and things like that, but they don't seem to work as well for me. So I've always gone with Veet and they've done this lovely 13 fluid ounce 
bottle, which is just great. But let me tell you something, it stinks, right? It absolutely reeks. I'm not even gonna bother it. I'm not gonna open it. But it smells of like chicken. It's like, it's like a chicken smell. It was as crazy as that is. And I'm not talking the cooked chicken. I'm talking like the chicken that you open out of the packs. You know, the processed chicken? It kind of smells like that. So, yeah. But that's the second thing I've been loving this month. I shall do this once more before I go away. And then um, that's it. I'm hairless, guys, you know? And I do find that my, my legs are smoother when I use this rather than shaving. My my When I shave, my legs kind of feel rough, you know? But this, they feel smooth, like silky smooth, which I love. And it feels great against like bed sheets and clothes. Oh, it just feels great. That feeling when you've just freshly been waxed or shaved, you can't beat, you can't beat that feeling. So yeah, that's what I've been loving so far this month. Like I say, I'm sorry for being a little bit of a cheat, you know, but um, I will use some of the things I've been loving in May for my June favourites but it's just the way the holidays landed I'm having to pre-film videos so that I can upload them and prepare um, because when I come back I come back on a Sunday at 3 a.m. that's what time I'll land in the UK um, and then that week I don't film during the week on the weekdays I always have to film at the weekend because I don't have time and um, it'll be straight back into gym, work, blah, blah, blah. So I just I just thought I'm not going to have chance. I'm not going to have chance to film that week before that weekend. I'm not going to. So I've had to do it before. But yeah, we, we, we'll be okay. We'll be all right. The next time, the next monthly favourites you'll see, I will be tanned. And I'll be able to tell you what I've been loving for the rest of March. <sighs> for the rest of May slash June. I'll be able to tell you then. Okay. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below some of the things you've been loving this month. And yeah, make sure you subscribe for more videos from me. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.